up you guys it's Teresa Dubale welcome to my youtube channel in this video I will share you the third parts of the lectures steel and the timber structure on tension members so the third part is more talk on the the second part of the worked examples so follow me attentively if you are new to my channel please like and subscribe for more videos so in the previous part we have seen this all the what tension members and the examples of tension members agile load members how to calculate the design value of this and the design tension resistance capacity the design limit the resistance of the net section and how can we calculate the net cross section area for the parallel ones and for the staggered ones and how angles connected by one leg and the design ultimate resistance of the net cross section determined as well for the angle one and the nominal values and the maximum dimension of the holes and we have seen this example one and example two in the previous part so now we are going to see the third example that is lap splice for two plates connected by five rows of staggered bolts so please follow me attentively attentively if you are new please like and subscribe the channel and the channel name is ethiopian engineering academy so it is all around for ethiopians and if you are if you are willing to con to work with me collaboratively you can contact me and i will continue the courses that is on the example three lab splice for two plates connected by five rows of staggered bolts so the question is determine the design tensile strength of the following plate that is the dimension 200 by 10 millimeter with the fastener voltage arranged as shown below if the steel grade is used this one and the diameter of the bolt is this one so when you are seeing this it is very so staggered bolts are used for this so this is a tension force this is a longitudinal axis and this is transverse transverse axis so these are the distances the dimensions the spacings between the holes and uh, when we are calculating the net error we, we are assuming this one 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 two one and one one two three two one so let us go back so the given is, the givens are bar width is 200 millimeter bar thickness and 10 millimeter the diameter of the bolt and the number of bolts the number of rows is in the staggered pitch distance gauge distance ultimate strength yield strength and the partial safety factors these all are the givens and and the required the, the required one is the tensile strength of the steel plate so the whole clearance is 2 mm so the, the, the whole diameter should be 22 mm and the gross area of the cross section is 2000 mm square so length time is with this so the net area of the cross section along line 1 1 along line 1 1 so the gross area minus the whole diameter time is this so the gross area is 2000 mm and the, this series, the number 3 is the number of holes on the line 1 1 and 22 and this is, so this is the net area 1 and net area of cross section along 1 2 1 2 2 1 so this is this one is 1 2 2 and 1 so the gross area is the same and this is the bolts the number of bolts along that line and this is the number of zigzag lines too so when we calculate this one this is a formula by simply inserting the numbers on the formula and the result is this one the net area 2 and the net area 3 area of cross section 3 along 1 2 3 2 1 that means on this 1 2 3 2 1 the number of bolts and all these are 1 2 3 2 1 so this is the formula and we are we have to plug the numbers this 5000 the gross area this is the number of bolts in, the, in that line and this is the number of zigzag lines the number of zigzag lines so this is the net area so the net area of the cross section should be the minimum of three net areas 
Ednata one, Ednata two, and net three. So this is the minimum one, this one. And the design plastic resistance of the cross section is era times, yield strength times, partial safety factor. So the era, the gross area is this one, and this is the yield strength and 1.1 is the partial safety factor. This is the the design plastic resistance and the design ultimate resistance of the net section at the bolt hole is this the 90 percent of this one so 0.9 times this is the minimum area this is the ultimate strength and this is the partial safety factor so uh, the tensile strength is taken the minimum of these two so the minimum is this one so this is the tensile resistance of the plate with a staggered bolt so if you have questions please you can use the email and the call whatever you fall safe for you and you can contact me if you have comments or questions or unclear ideas so please like and subscribe for more videos and let's come back to the next part of this lecture Example 4, that is, lab splice for two plates connected by five rows of staggered bolts. So, when you are seeing this one, it is so boring, God, and it's, I think the figures seems like that. But it is so simple and the same to that one. Determine the design tensile strength of the following plate, this, with the partner, partner holes arranged as shown below, if the grade is this one, and the diameter 50 mm. So when you uh, see this image attentively, the given dimensions are this one, bar with this, bar thickness, diameter of the ball, number of balls, number of rows, target pitch distance, cage distance, ultimate distance, and the yield strength of the steel, partial safety factors, the hole clearance too, and the hole diameter, 17 millimeter and the cross area of the cross section should be this one and the net cross section now area along straight line four, four along straight line four so this means this one along straight line this one and so this is the, there is no it is three lines so gross area this one this is the number of bolts in that line and this is the diameter of hole this is the thickness so the area should be this one and the net area of cross section along the zigzag line two is by simply by inserting the formulas uh, the numbers on the formula so this is the gross area this is the number of bolts on that direction and this is the number of zigzag lines on that line so this is the net area two and the net area of cross section along zigzag line 3 area net 3 the formula is the same so by inserting this is the number of holes this is the number of staggered or zigzag lines so this one is the net area the net area of cross section it should be the minimum of these three areas so the minimum is this one and the design plastic resistance of the gross section is can, can be calculated, calculated by Using this one and the number 916.4 kN and the design ultimate resistance of the net section at the bolt hole at the bolt hole this is by 90% of this one so this is the net area the minimum net area so this is the number that this is the design ultimate resistance of the net, net section and the tensile, the tensile resistance is taken as the minimum of this one the minimum of these two so the minimum of this one this is the tensile resistance capacity of the steel plates so thank you for your attention thank you for watching please like and subscribe for more videos and in the second um, in the next part uh, i will share you the about uh, the examples the working examples so, thank you.